All right, so today we'll be taking a look at the uh, renal artery. Uh, I did a complete study of the renal uh, a couple of years ago in which I received a lot of feedback on. So today we're going to do a complete renal artery imaging. Now to do a complete renal artery imaging, you have to do a complete aorta study first. You need a velocity of the aorta to calculate your renal aortic ratio. And so I recently did a video on aorta imaging. You wanna watch that so you can put that together in completing a renal artery study. So I'm gonna start right away. Go ahead and take a deep breath in for me. So again, I'm just going to start proximally. I can see the proximal aorta right there. And I'm going to have my cursor up here. At some point, you're going to see the celiac taking off. Um, right about there, that's your celiac taking off. And then the SMA takes off right there. And as the SMA take off, the third branch of your aorta is the renal artery. So renal artery right there. So that's my right renal artery. I should be seeing my left one. As you can see what I'm doing with my probe, I kind of like just tilted it over and I'm seeing my left one come in also right about there. So that is my left renal artery. And this is my right renal artery taken off right there, okay? I'm gonna take color off. Now what you wanna do as you're doing, um, I'm gonna focus right now on the right. So as you're looking at that right renal artery, as you can see it coming off right there, you're going to get some waveforms, and I don't want to go too much into the waveforms of the, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead and breathe. Um, I'm just gonna adjust my depth here a little bit so I can get more, uh, there we go. So you can see the renal artery right there. I would usually just get a waveform right about there. Um, so you will get a waveform right there. I'm going to do right there. I'm gonna turn the my up again down. I'm gonna adjust my scale. Take the pulse wave off just so we can continue there. But you're going to get your uh, renal artery, you're going to get an image proximal, you're going to get a mid, and then you're going to try to get a distal right about there, okay? You're going to do the same thing with your left side. That's the left one coming off, proximal right there. Um, you're going to get a mid right about there. And the distal of the left, you might actually just try to get that. Um, let me see if I can turn my color gain up a little bit. And if I can't get it from this approach, another way I'll do is just go and look at through the kidney and try to get my distal segment. So again, aorta right there, right renal, uh, sorry, left renal is right tucked underneath that vein and the right renal is right there, okay? So that's your right renal. Now, once you do that, another image you would always need to get is your kidney, okay? I'm gonna get some jelly. You're gonna get your kidney. Um, that's her kidney right there. Take a deep breath in for me and hold it, please. So that's the kidney right there. Um, you want to put color on the kidney as well. Um, when you do the color, uh, the imaging of the kidney, you want to drop your scale. As you can see, the scale is off to the 28. I'm bringing it down nice at 15, five. I'm gonna probably take it up a little bit. Um, so you're gonna drop your, uh, increase your scale. Let me try to adjust my um, settings here. put color on it again I'm gonna fix that and settings is also very important when you're doing your renal artery imaging so at this point I'm also going to just freeze this for a second you're going to take a waveform in the upper pole a waveform in the mid pole and a waveform also in your lower pole of your uh, kidney of the right side there and you can see the waveforms all coming in another image another view you can do is actually go transverse on your kidney i like to do this view as well because in this view you can actually watch your kidney there and look at that you can see your renal arteries as they drop right into the aorta okay you can see it right in that view i'm going to freeze this for a second this is the aorta right there and you can see the renal arteries come right into the aorta you can decide to use this view if you'd like um, as well some um a lot of sites um, actually use this view so again I would say what view works for your site you want to do that so again I love this view as well I'm going to take the color off again one more time and you can watch your kidney and just do that you can also repeat that same approach on your left side all right so now I'm on the left side of the kidney there left side of the kidney all right and using this approach 
can watch your kidney again you're going to repeat the same thing i'm sorry take do the same thing deep breath in and hold it for me she's taking in that deep breath i am going to work on my game there's but that kidney you can see the kidney there i'm going to go transverse on it as well transverse now remember in this view i said you can try to get your distal segment where you can actually appreciate it deep breath and hold it for me there you go she's taking it that deep breath i'm going to slowly slide down and you can see the vessels coming right out of the kidney there and you can actually try to get a distal i'm going to get my little cursor up ready for that distal imaging distal and you can get your distal renal artery right at this segment right before it enters into that kidney.